Okay, I gotta admit with this one, I just did not see it coming, you know. I talk about it at the channel a lot. I think I might have even talked about it yesterday that being out here in Tokyo, Japan, it's kind of hard to keep up with everything. I do my very best checking out as many websites as possible. Soul Supplier, Sneaker News, Kicks on Fire, Hype Beast, even the Japanese websites as well. Hype Beast Japan, Sneaker Dunk Japan, places like that, and uh, social media and everything like that. I'm always trying my very best to stay ahead of things. This one I didn't see coming. This one I did see coming. That's the original or OG of this sort of LeBron 17, LeBron 4 mashup in the graffiti kind of colorway. Uh, and we did that shoe a few weeks ago. I can't remember the exact drop date. Very nice looking white, black and red shoe. One of my favorite kind of color combinations in shoes. Very 80s, very me. Uh, and uh, But these guys here, these two pairs of, uh, they're calling them uh, graffiti remix, I think is what they're calling these guys. And there's an all-star one and there's a red one. Didn't see them coming at all. Maybe you guys did. Maybe you saw that all the way down the line. You knew these guys were coming out. They're coming out July 28th. And this video is probably going to go up on something like July, uh, probably 22nd. So maybe a week ahead of the drop date. So uh, uh, so yeah, didn't see it coming. Glad to be able to do this. I, I, I used to do my drops in batch. So I wouldn't be able to sort of change direction, change lane really quickly. Uh, but because now, you know, after this coronavirus and lockdown stuff, I do these videos every single night. Uh, and right now it is just past midnight on Wednesday night. Um, and this video will go up on Friday. So uh, in two days time. Uh, but because, of, you know, the, the, I'm doing it every single night. Then when something comes out of the blue, I can catch it and catch that wave. So that's what we're doing today. And we'll do that right now as we take a close up look at these two colorways that are coming from the Nike LeBron 17 Graffiti Remix. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel Dez. My name is Yapsugunode. My name is Mitiko Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. Uh, and today it's two for two shoes. So I've got that thumbnail going on again. Let's put the thumbnail up. Uh, recently, I've done a few of these little collections of shoes. There were some Adidas three shoes, uh, Superstar and Stan Smith, I think was out there. I think two superstars now that I think about it. Uh, and then today we've got this. We also had the uh, Grateful Dead uh, Dunks, you know, and, and being able to, I mean you've got a collection like that I like to do this with the thumbnail where I split the shoes up and then have both shoes at once it started with an Air Force One uh, but I got in a little trouble for that because somebody thought that the shoe that I'd split and spliced together was actually the shoe that was dropping uh, and I had to tell them in the comments you know actually you know that isn't the shoe that's dropping but uh, uh, and this isn't actually the shoe that's dropping this is the, the two halves the red version uh, and then what they're calling the all-star the blue version we'll take a close-up look at those guys today and see the detailing on there there is one particular thing on the all-star version and I think they've actually, you know, they could have just changed a little color on there and it would have been just right, but it's slightly off. And then there's a detail on there that I think is a little bit too much Jordan, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, so we're going to get into all that today and have a look at these guys. But let's talk about the history of this. Uh, I did say already it's a four down below and it's a 17 up high. Love the 17 highs. Love that, um, you know, the fly knit upper. I think it's absolutely beautiful. An iconic sneaker totally changed the direction, the trajectory of the LeBron line. Uh, everything before this was sort of sequential one after the other uh, but then when these guys came along it's like wow that's an absolutely beautiful and unique shoe something I'd never seen before and I think the 17 silhouette and is going to go down you know as an iconic shoe uh, years from now people will look back at it and be like you know that was one of the greats um, so I love my, my um, 17 uppers uh, and uh, the four on the lower half if we talk about the four on the lower half I always point you guys to this right here and that's the Fruity Pebble Fours a friends and family shoe uh, which is an absolute great if you ever have a chance to check out a video about the LeBron 4 Fruity Pebbles, I totally recommend it. And uh, and even though it doesn't have much to do with today's shoe in terms of design, that 4 on the bottom, that sort of chunky kind of outsole, midsole sort of section that comes up has definitely been transferred over, transplanted onto these 17s. Uh, and you can see that in the graffiti down below. But speaking of those graffiti, the graffiti 4s uh, were a big shoe, but the graffiti 8s are a unicorn, an absolute unicorn, a graffiti it's right here now if you want to check out that pebble uh fruity pebble 4 video you know you're looking at something if you see those guys in hand that's absolutely epic graffiti 8 i mean it's a unicorn honestly it's an absolute unicorn of a sneaker it's it's, it's a mythical shoe uh, and seeing those guys in hand it's like you know 
wow, that's that's like holding the crown jewels or something. You just don't get that. So check out a video of those guys as well. It's a definite must. So that's kind of the history as far as the fours go, as far as the graffiti goes. There have been many graffiti shoes across the line uh, from, you know, uh, LeBron, but the graffiti fours and the graffiti eights for me are the two sort of major players out there. And then when we're looking at the shoe because of that bottom half that is in that four uh, structure, the physicalness of the four and also that graffiti um, motif that we've seen many times before especially those eights I was talking about um, that's kind of what ties the whole shoe together as far as design as far as history as far as construction goes as far as actual color goes and as far as the details on these guys a lot of really nice stuff personally there's two things I'm not a huge fan of which will go to first and then I'll go to the things I am a huge fan of now, the two things I'm not a huge fan of is the ankle straps we'll put the red guys up first because I do like the ankle straps on these guys it's white uh, with a blue outline I think and I think I'm right in saying a red M embedded swoosh on the lateral side of that ankle strap very nice fits the motif of the shoe but then if we flip that out to the all-star guys here um for some reason you now it's not my you know it's not my decision i don't own a sneaker company i'm not a multi-millionaire like someone like lebron james who can make these decisions uh you know that's their choice and not disrespecting the fact that they have that choice personally though if i was a multi-millionaire and i had my own sneaker company uh what i would have done on these guys here is instead of that gray up there which i don't think fits the motif of this collection of shoes you know a pair of the reds and the blues together it's a very usa colorway let's let's face it red white and blue uh, so why they went with gray up there on the ankle strap was kind of like mm, why'd you do that uh, and either a red strap with a white outline or a blue strap with a red outline or a white strap with a red outline or something up there any of the you know two combinations that you could get um in uh, that red white and blue motif i think would have matched this all-star colorway really really nicely but the gray on there is just sort of like it's a it's Nah, you know that that M E M E H. Nah, just you know. Uh, so I really wish they'd they'd done something a bit different there. And also, if we come down onto the tongues, I was like. I've, I've never really thought about this before, never really seen it before. I've looked at a lot of 17s down the lines. Favourite 17s right here, Harlem Fashion Rolls, thought that was a beautiful shoe. Um, and uh, But I've never really noticed the 23 on the tongues there. And I don't know if it's unique to this pair of um, the graffiti remixes or if it's been elsewhere uh, and I haven't seen it before. But where I've definitely seen it before, or at least something similar to it before, and this is that Jordan thing I was talking about right here. What we're looking at is an absolute grail of a sneaker. It's come down in price it recently. It used to be close Close to five figures but now we're down uh, you know getting close to three figures for these guys these are the Tokyo fives a beautiful shoe and that 23 down on the heel I hope it's there it might be over here um, it looks awful similar to bang back to uh, the LeBron 17s we're looking at today and that 23 on there uh, and that kind of echo uh, echoes from the J Jordan line into the LeBron line I'm not a huge fan of uh, what I am a massive fan of is the heels on these 17s slash fours uh, because what you've got in the back there's this really tiny thin strip uh, that you'll be able to see here and it's super hard to make out what it says on there but on one side I think it says believe and on the other side it says uh, witness um, and actually they might have exactly the same number of letters witness is seven B leave also seven letters so uh, so it balances out pretty nicely in the case of these guys here I'm right I think I'm right to say it's blue on blue so it's a bit harder to read those words there uh, because they they don't contrast with the background that they're sitting on um, but it is very cool I like little details like that in my shoes uh, and if you look at the actual graffiti itself we'll do the blue ones because I'm pretty sure the blue graffiti is blue um, I've, so I've read out there it's black but I disagree I think it's actually blue uh, and hopefully I'll be able to make out some words within there that are also you know aspirational words just like believe and witness so uh, uh, so yeah I mean all in all let's go back to the thumbnail since that's got both shoes on it uh, like I say huge fan of the 17 line love it very very much uh, the graffitis you know uh, it's something that's repeated repeatedly down the uh, LeBron lines as is those Fruity Pebbles I was talking about there's been a bunch of Fruity Pebbles as well um, so for me you know it's a great shoe I'm not a huge fan of hybrid shoes for example what are those Jordan 312s called is it Legacy or something like that not a huge fan of those kind of shoes when you mash up you know different shoes and Jordan actually did it recently with uh, the top three on the fives you know which had the OG uh, colorways, the four OG colorways mashed all together into one shoe, even though it says top three. Um, and uh, and I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't like my hybrid shoes very much. These guys are pretty close to being a yes for me, uh, but I love the 17 on its own so much. Putting the four on the bottom there detracts from what is an iconic shoe as far as I'm concerned. But you might have a difference of opinion, which I'd love for you to share with me in the comments down below. For now though, it's time for me to check off. Thank you guys for checking out some more content from my channel. I uh, hope you're appreciating these daily drops. We're getting 
getting close to 600 consecutive days on YouTube without a single day missed. Let's see if we can get there uh, and then keep on keeping on. For now, time to sign off uh, and check out for today. Thank you guys for checking out the content. But as I do this every single day, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.